All right, we're going to bring uh, Mike Apple back in, and we're going to talk NAFTA again. Yeah. Now, deadline upon deadline upon deadline, what is the new date? The new date could be past October 1st. Good morning, Melanie. Montreal Gazette reporting this morning that uh, there may be a plan here to, again, push back a deadline for a deal, in this case, to avoid the October 1st provincial election in Quebec. The reason is that one of the sticking points in the talks has been all about the U.S. gaining access, more access to Canada's dairy industry. That whole contentious issue of supply management, the dairy industry, very influential in Quebec specifically. The provincial liberals in recent public opinion polls retaking the lead in the upcoming vote. And the federal liberals probably don't want to have anything that might derail or affect the Quebec provincial election outcome. So again, we've had, there was talk that yesterday was the deadline and then the end of this month specifically to get something on paper for the U.S. Congress to vote on before the upcoming uh, midterms stateside. But again, the deadline just keeps on moving. We're looking this morning at uh, potentially some uh, interesting commentary coming from our provincial finance minister, Vic Fidelli, in a breakfast speech coming up this morning. A first look perhaps at the uh, provincial numbers on the finances after the uh, new uh, PC government said that they were going to go through and look at the previous government's accounting. And uh, Vic Fidelli and Premier Doug Ford have been saying all week that uh, they're ex warning that the deficit numbers that have been talked about in the spring budget will be much above that. So we'll get some details on that coming up today. Wall Street starting the day with records for the Dow and the S&P. It has been a very strong week for U.S. markets. Uh, despite all of the ratcheted up uh, tariff talk between the U.S. and China, investors have uh, not been swayed by that. In fact, have been buying up uh, stocks uh, quite substantially. The Dow yesterday was up 250 points and Bay Street's on pace for a winning week as well. Lineups at the Apple stores already this morning. It is iPhone sales day, so we'll be tracking Apple shares for potential implications from that. Apple coming in actually over the past five days down by about 2%, but still over a trillion dollars in market value. And Roger, we're also watching, of course, the pot stocks today because Tilray, which has been uh, up and down and all around all week, yesterday was down 17% and it's already down another 10% this morning, a half of where it was on Wednesday when it hit 300 dollars per share. And at that point it jumped, didn't it jump 150% or something on it that dropped, day? It jumped 92% specifically and then was down briefly, then back up and... Uh, <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine where it's going to go today. What a ride. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank Have a great you. weekend. You too.